at least it's not uphill anymore. These are not my feet, but I can feel them. I know where they are, right? And that's very, very important. I've been in some very big accidents and I've been very lucky because I've got away with a lot of things. But um, did you ever think it was going to happen to you? No. Definitely not. And I still believe to this day that uh, that was just a fatality. It's not because motor racing is dangerous, you know. It's life. Unfortunately, it doesn't take much, uh, you know, to, to meet destiny at that particular time. And, uh, and it happens, and you can't go back. Uh, funny enough, I don't remember a single lap of the race itself, therefore I don't remember even the time of the accident. Um, I just know that I woke up and, uh, and my legs were not longer there. And uh, I didn't know that. My wife told me with all the sweetness of, uh, that she could find in the situation. And uh, as I said earlier on, that was not my biggest problem at the time because I felt so bad and uh, if I could go back in time and, uh, and uh, like if you'd ask me Alex would you trade uh, your three years that you had in the States with all the satisfactions you had for your legs well I could trade all the money I have in the bank that for sure which I at the time I felt it was very important right I would trade all the money for my legs, but I, I may not trade the, the three years I had in the States for my legs. So uh, this, I think, tells you how much I care about what I was doing. Well, I heard a rumor that you drove back from the clinic to your home in Monte Carlo after the accident, after you've been there for some period of time. I mean, is it true or is this just a rumor? I can see it as a, as a flash, you know, me driving on the motorway, talking to my wife and looking in the mirror, my son in the back that was sleeping. I felt, I felt the boss of the family again, you know, and I, I didn't feel like a handicapped guy, like the way I felt when I was on the wheelchair. With all the respect for the people that are on the wheelchair, but uh, to me at that point I felt like, you know, I was totally normal and it didn't mean the fact that I didn't have legs at the time. I mean, I was taking the family home, so it was a special, a special moment for me. Last December, there was a, a big celebration back in Italy. For the first time you stood up in front of a, a crowd. What was that like? Only, what, three months after your accident? Yeah. Uh, well, it was a special moment because uh, everybody was shocked because I didn't know that. But normally, you know, when you spend a lot of time on a wheelchair, it's very difficult for people to, to stretch and to stand up. I think a very special moment, also for me, uh, because it was very, very unexpected, you know. Alex, you're a true champion and an inspiration to many, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mark. Mark, he's a pal of yours, and he was a former rival of yours, but it's fantastic to see him fighting back like that. It really is. Um, it's, it's tough for me, actually, to, to even talk to him at that point, because only a few years ago I was 200 miles an hour, wheel to wheel with a guy, fierce competitors, and then to actually sit next to him, only a few inches away, and the guy's lost his legs. Uh, it draws too many parallels to me as a, as a driver and as a, as a human being. And uh, I actually told him the other day, sitting there, that the, the biggest reason that I never returned to oval racing for this year was because of him, because of his accident. And, and it's something that I still don't sit very comfortable with. It's great to see him, though, especially saying he wouldn't have swapped his racing career to have his legs back is an astonishing thing to say. Oh, he, he's so passionate. He's such a strong guy. Um, you know, and, and I believe every word he says on that. He, he, you know, that is from the, the bottom of his heart. But um, he is a, a true role model to anybody in that situation. Is it fair to say that seeing him there was one of the reasons why you decided to pack it in? Um, I haven't packed it in yet, and that's probably the, that, the, what, what I'm saying at this point is that I may return, but the biggest issue with me is that I've not returned yet purely because of Alex's accident, and that's something that is in the back of my mind. If I don't get it out of the back of my mind, I will quit completely, but it's still there. Good. Mark, thank you very much indeed. Uh, let's go down.